folks, it's Julie Nelson, uh, author, Success Foster on Fire Hot, your real estate coach and professional here to help you rock your real estate business. I'm doing this series of excerpts from the book, Success Foster on Fire Hot, which was published uh, October 2020. Get yourself a copy today. And this is just a series of some of my favorite clips from each chapter. So this is chapter 10. And the name of that chapter is Who is the Boss of Me? So here we go. You are your own boss. You're a licensed professional. You're an entrepreneur, an independent contractor. The good news about this, the good news is that you are your own boss. But what is the bad news? The bad news is that you are your own boss. Don't be a lousy one. You've worked for someone else before. Most of us have. You showed up on time. You got the most important things done every day. You planned out your vacations carefully. You figured out how to run your life and get important things done, buying groceries, taking Kitty to the vet, driving kids to school early, meeting the repair guy, preparing for family visiting over the holidays. You figured out what to do when your child was sick. You made the most out of your weekends. You figured it out. You may have been tired, but you figured it out. For years, you figured it out. You were amazing with that 40 to 50 hour or more obligation every week. You had to. It meant job stability. It paid the bills. And then you become a self-employed independent contractor and you start behaving differently with all this freedom and flexibility. You're running a business, your business, the most important business you have ever had your hands on. So are you running it as well as you used to run someone else's? Why would you treat your real estate business that you own any differently than you had treated someone else's business when you were an employee? Why would you trust someone else's business with more respect and reliability than you treat your own? This chapter is about holding a mirror in front of our faces, identifying where our opportunities lie. Once I really grasped this concept, I started holding the mirror and regularly asking myself these questions. Am I being a good boss? Was I a good boss today? If I was a lousy boss today, what got in the way? Am I doing the things I need to do today to build my pipeline? What is my fastest route to a new, new client or paycheck today? Am I maintaining a full-time schedule? Do I look busy or did I actually gain traction this week? How many hours did I actually work this week? Did I do what I said I was going to do? Did I add to my pipeline today? If I were going to give myself a performance review for today or the past week or month, how would I rate? And the kicker question is this. Based on what I did today or this week, would I hire me? All right, there's excerpts from chapter 10. Watch for the whole series. You can click through all of them. You can find them on YouTube. You can find them on my blog at thenelsonproject.org. If you want to connect, click through and find click through on thenelsonproject.org and let's connect. Let's chat. I'll actually call you back or we'll we'll chat. Bye.